believe that American phones rang five billion times last November from robocalls. That's in one month, almost 2,000 per second. This morning, we're joined by Barry Moore, president of Better Business Bureau serving Central Virginia, who's ready to share some helpful information on how to stop those annoying calls. We welcome him back to Virginia this morning. It's good to see you. It's great to be here, Jessica. Thank you. We are tired yeah. of these calls, and I feel like they have gotten so much more sneaky and strategic. Just think if you got a penny for every call you you have each day, yes. how rich you'd be at the end of the year. It's just awful anymore, and it's just the way it is. But there are things you can do. So let's take one step back and define what is a robocall. Yeah. I don't want to assume everybody knows. A robocall is any call that you didn't solicit, you didn't approve, and especially if they're asking for money somehow. Those are robocalls, and they're coming in left and right. This is a uh, presidential election year. Political robocalls are allowed, and that's cool, but still they can be a nuisance. They come in just by the hundreds. I feel like anymore, um, they're, they're coming in from local exchanges, right? Yeah. It looks like a local number. Yeah. It's not as easy to detect. Yeah, it's, it's kind of part of the scam world because You'll think, uh, oh, I think I know that number, and you'll pick it up because you recognize the prefix, only to find out that it's, it's some robocall or it's some scammer from out of country, frankly. So you have to be very careful, and just really three rules to remember. Um, if you don't recognize the call first off, I advise don't pick it up. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you do, and you recognize it's a robocall, hang up. Don't try to hit a button or anything and try to, you know, just hang up and uh, block that call, and also report that call to the FTC slash uh, complaint and to the BBB.org. And we will make sure that others don't get burned as well. So there's some things you can do. You can even get on the do not call register, and that only impacts the uh, legal calls coming in, but the scammers and the other robocalls, they just keep coming through. So. You know, what are you going to do? Well, you shared a bunch of information. Yeah. You know, number one, there are certain types of robocalls that are legal. Yeah. There are robocalls that are illegal. And should mm -hmm. we receive those and we understand that yeah. that's what it is, should I be writing down the phone numbers to then report them? <laughs> like, what is the, what's the best yeah. process? If, if you report them, and I, I really encourage people to report these calls, write the phone number down. And then when you contact the FTC and you can put a complaint in there or you contact the Better Business Bureau and you can put a complaint. You at least got the phone number. But honestly, there are so many, Jessica, coming in. The best thing to do, if you don't recognize the number, don't pick it up. If you do pick it up and you recognize it's a robocall, hang up. And when you hang up, you can either report it, but at least hang up. But whatever you do, don't fall to the uh, thing in a robocall saying, push one if you'd like. No, I'll push one. You just want to get back at them. Uh -huh. uh, don't do that because that just tells them you're a live person on the other end and that just goes to another robocall company. I was going to say, that's yeah. what I feel like you've heard, I've heard before is if yeah. somehow you engage, then mm -hmm. you basically yeah. activate. It's like you've kicked the hornet's <laughs> nest, right? Because then they know yeah. this is a live number and more is going to swarm. Oh, more I'm telling swarm. you, just, just like bees coming in on flowers, yeah. they're going to come in on you and instead of getting 10 robocalls a day, you're going to get 20 robocalls a day because you started responding to the robocalls. Don't do it. Again, if you don't recognize the number, it's so sad that our society has gotten to that today. But if you don't recognize the number, I encourage people not to pick up. But if you do, again, just hang up once you recognize the call and block it if you can. Barry, we've got about a minute left. Yeah. Let's say I always thought robocalls were just calls that were uh, auto-generated, like it was a robot on the other <laughs> end. But you're saying they, these can yeah. be with live people. Yeah. Let's say you pick it up. Let's say mm -hmm. you've had a conversation. Let's say you've given more information than you really would have liked yeah. to before you realize what's going on. Well, you got yourself stuck there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. um, and that's right. They can be either automated calls, and most of the political calls are going to be automated. Uh, but they also can be people on the other end, just fishing around and seeing if you respond. That's how a lot of scams begin. That's how a lot of scams succeed, is people engage with the caller. So it can be either one. And again, really, Jessica, my best advice and the Bureau's best advice is, if you don't recognize it, don't pick it up. If you do, and it's a robocall, block it. 
Don't try to say, well, I'll just teach them on the other end. All that's doing is confirming there's a human on this side, and then your number gets passed to another robocall outfit, and so you get even more robocalls. Mm -hmm. So just, just remember those basic rules. It's a sad state of affairs, but that's the way it is right now in technology until it comes up with ways to block this better. Well, you just That's do the, the best you can. Yeah. yeah, very great advice today. Thank yeah. you so much. That's great being we'll here. We'll do the elbow bump. We'll do the elbow bump. Practicing yep. before. Yep. It's good information. You can contact you. the Better Business Bureau of Central Virginia to learn more, 804-648-0030 or online at BBB. Dot org. Before we send it to break, we're going to check in with a BB over yeah. there. And I've been doing this wrong because I do engage. <laughs> I like to mess with them. Yeah. And I'll be on there and I figure I'm going to tie up your time for like 20 minutes. No, nope, like bees to bees <laughs> to the flower, like Barry said. They're going to be on you, All Bill. All right, I'll let it go. But